hello everyone hope you're doing great so yesterday i uploaded a video on my youtube channel as you can see so in this video i was talking about an update from stability ai uh, the update was a new model that they have created and it is called stable 0123 which can that can create 3d objects uh, just using the images you just have to upload an image and it will create 3d objects uh, on that or from that image so in the same video someone left a comment saying uh, show some examples please on how to get quality 3d stuff so probably they wanted me to show more examples and in this video i could only manage to show one example so now keeping that in mind i will give you a bunch of uh, at least three examples or i will try to do two examples uh, to explain how it works so i just uploaded an image from which for which i have already removed the background and i have clicked on view from right so as you can see right right now we are able to see the view of this jeep from the left hand side i believe so uh, our hope is that it will create the opposite angle view and yeah i mean we have four samples and um, I, I think it's not perfect but it is quite good so let's try to see how it looks like from above so we want to see a view of this jeep from its roof so roof should be up here appearing uh, from above first so yeah i think it's almost done yeah i think this is impressive um, all of course the roof is this one this looks pretty close so i'm quite surprised and impressed by the results okay let's try some other uh, image so i have this laptop I, yeah, this is the one i have removed the background for so we can see a macbook air or macbook pro uh, so let's see the view from behind so we can see the front view even though it's still a bit angular but let's try to see a 3d uh, image of this laptop or at least the view of this laptop from behind okay uh, okay not bad and not great either but yeah okay let's try. let's try from uh, right hand side let's see so I believe it is uh, slightly angled in the left direction or the angle is towards the left so if we ask if we uh, hope to see the right one it should show something okay it just got weird okay um, I think this is still okay let's try with some other image uh, I have this baby rhino for which have already removed the background so we can see the front of this uh rhino let's go for the view from behind so yeah so so far i think for the jeep it was pretty good for the laptop it was you know meh, like 30 percent i would not say like three out of ten for the rhino uh yeah i think uh, it's good it's still not like perfectly rhino but i think this is pretty good okay let's see the view from above so we want to see the uh, rhino uh, from the top down angle so hopefully we will have at least one image that is seven or eight out of ten mm, i don't think this is good i mean this is still Two or three out of ten but yeah view from a random rotation let's try that and there are a bunch of other options as well like advanced option so diffusion guidance scale and number of diffusion interest inference steps so i believe the more the less number of steps would make their image um, less uh, quality wise like because we will be asking it to generate the output very quickly but if we uh, increase the step from let's say 75 to 150 or 125 it is possible that it will become very contrasty or very saturated and very cooked you know so the random angle was the similar angle and uh, yeah it's not bad it's six out of ten so yeah i hope you like this video and uh, i suggest you also try it out 